the Validation Master Plan is a comprehensive document that defines the application requirements of qualification and validation systems of a facility and provides a plan for achieving and maintaining a qualified and validated facility. A VMP is a key document for both the manufacturing site and for corporate. It should be a summary document, brief, concise, clear. A good VMP should include the following regarding validation and qualification. This includes a validation strategy using a life cycle approach. There is also a summary of facilities, equipment, systems and processes included in the validation program at the manufacturing site or globally and their validation status. It describes the organizational structure of validation activities and associated roles and responsibilities. Change management processes and deviation management processes related to validation are fundamental to the document. And finally, it should also include references to all existing documentation, such as individual validation plans for cleaning and production processes, project verification plans and relevant SOPs. A VMP is typically used as a high-level plan for sites, systems and processes. The plan outlines the scope of the validation program, the controls to be adopted and how activities are to be conducted, documented and approved. The VMP document has an approval page containing the names and titles of individuals responsible for the generation, review and approval of the VMP. It usually includes individuals responsible for regulatory affairs, quality, engineering and manufacturing. There are three objectives to plan activities in a VMP. Firstly, it is to provide documentary evidence that the facilities, equipment and processes have been designed in accordance with the requirements of the current GMP. Secondly, it is to gather important evidence that the facilities and equipment have been built and installed in compliance with their design specifications. And finally, to ensure that the facilities and equipment are operating in accordance with their design specifications to repeatedly and reliably produce a finished product of the required quality. The VMP should cover all of the following. This should be reviewed at least annually and every update should state all progress made and should include the new plans. No, the project validation plan is another document which is specifically for an individual piece of equipment, system or project. It is at a lower level of the VMP. Large projects may also require separate VMPs, which is more in line with the FDA definition of a VMP. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you find it useful and that you have learned what you expected. See you in other courses at SciLife Academy to continue your learning journey.